is the best hunt. It's Corey, by the way. Stop it! You ever knock? Might have come across a little harsh earlier. I ain't apologizing. I'm just acknowledging. I don't trust people I don't know. But Eli says you're all right, so I gotta go with that until I see otherwise. You prove your worth, and you and I will get along just fine. Here's the deal. Weedy's trying to get a pirate radio station up and running. He told Eli it's to help coordinate the militia, but I'm pretty sure he just wants to play his own music. So we're gonna indulge him. Problem is, he can't get a signal out. Our friend here said the cult's been jamming this whole area. Also told us how. Seems there's two radio towers with jammers on them and a third on a mobile unit patrolling the roads. Take the towers out first. That ought to clear the signal enough for me to locate the patrol. I'll let you know when I find it. Do this, and maybe we can start building some of that trust up. Got a job for you. You remember the Grandview Hotel? That shithole we pulled you out of? Need you to head back there. Jacob nabbed a whitetail by the name of Briggs, and he's using the same brain-melting nonsense he tried on you. All in the hopes that Briggs will give up the wolf stand. I don't think our boy can hold out as long as you did. And if he gives up our location, we're done. So we gotta move on this quick. Some folks here think the smart move would be just to off him. But if we start killing our own to save our asses, how's that make us any better than Jacob? Nah, I ain't going down that road. Here's what we're gonna do instead. Weedy's cooked up a little deprogramming package. Same thing we used on you. Need you to swap out the tape they got running in Briggs' room with the one I'm gonna give you. And then, well, then we'll see what happens. If everything goes smooth, our guy comes back to Earth. If it doesn't, well, we'll deal with that when the time comes. Whitetail Militia's been ready for this fight for years. Eli made sure we had caches stashed all over the place. Guns, ammo, you name it. Gotta be prepared for anything, you know? But the way things are going, we need those supplies here. Not sitting in some bunker waiting to be found. Last thing we need are the fucking Peggy's stumbling across our shit. So if you could get those supplies, it'd be a big help for us. But, uh, there is one problem. We don't keep a map of the caches here. Don't ask me why. Safeguards, or some bullshit. There's a scout up at the Jefferson Lookout Tower who should have one. Place is just west of here. Good luck and be careful out there. Always best to hide at night. Swear.
Got you on the cameras. Grandview's a straight shot north of there. Get moving. Should be getting close now. Destroy the control box at the top of the tower. Don't care how you do it, as long as it's shooting sparks. It's on its way, I'm sure of it. Rescue me. I didn't see a way out of that one. Thank God you came along. Hurry up! I gotta say, you do good work, Deputy. Real good. But I'm not gonna bullshit you. I thought rescuing all those folks would move the needle, but the cult just keeps snatching bodies. I don't know about this. Something's not sitting right. Whatever Jacob's planning, it's big. And we need to figure it out. We'll see you at the wolf's den.
you must be hungry. <laughs> yeah. Did you know it takes ten days for civilization to collapse? Yeah. You take away a man's basic needs and he will revert to his primordial instincts in just ten days. <laughs> That's a difficult thing to understand unless you've lived it. You know, I was in Iraq during the first Gulf War. 82nd Airborne, all Americans. Hoorah! <laughs> One night there was a, an ambush. And me and this guy named Miller got separated from the unit. No food. No radio. Nearest base, 200 clicks to the south, so we just started walking. Well, by the third day, I knew we were lost. Day six, ran out of water. You know what that's like, don't you? Difficult to swallow. On the seventh day, Miller's legs started going all wonky. Did you know your brain starts to eat your muscles in order to survive? That's why you're so goddamn skinny. And by the eighth day, the wolves were closing in. And I looked at Miller and I could tell we were as good as dead. And I accepted that. And in that acceptance, came clarity. You see, I wasn't just looking at Miller. I was looking at an opportunity. It wasn't something I wanted. It was something that I had to do. It was... It was my test. You see, Miller's sacrifice wasn't about me walking out of that desert. It was about bringing me here. The weak have their purpose. You'll understand that soon enough. strong enough you have to get out of here before it starts again follow me
house, you ready? To do it. Look. Trials. See? He's got it all planned out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, then he's got you. It becomes second nature routine. He gets in your head. And you don't even realize it. You can't ever go back. You understand? You can't ever go back. Come on. The truck. The truck's gotta be there. Gotta get on the truck. It's almost time. I've studied the route for weeks. It's the only way out. You'll be safe if you don't.
Watcher inside. Swap the tape. Let the deprogramming run its course. I'm heading your way! Known fact. Grandview Hotel is where I was. If you found him, just let the tape do it. Well, they didn't call me that. Ah, shit. I'm seeing trucks headed your way. Jacob must have been waiting for us to hit him again. Kid, I'm seeing mortars and MGs outside. Get creative. They got lots of toys out there.
in Grandview to fuck with anyone now. God damn. I'd love to see his ugly mug when he hears he lost his little torture chamber. <laughs> you know, you proved everyone wrong, Deb. Target everyone confirmed. except me. Always knew you were the real deal. I'll see you back at the den, soldier. Take care. I'd just like to say we rolled up here and are fighting a bunch of assholes. 